Have you ever gotten stuck by asking really big questions such as, what's my calling in life? What's my purpose? What's my niche? Who is my target market? Who is my ideal audience? These giant questions can keep people stuck for years. So let me share with you a wise piece of advice that I received from a mentor long ago. The mentor is no longer alive, but I always remember what he said here. He said, you know, this was when I was in my 20s and trying to figure out my purpose in life. And he said to me, George, our calling in life can only be understood by looking backward. And I thought that was so wise. So what, what I believe he meant by that was that when we look back and look at the patterns of whom have we been helping, what kind of person have we been most effective at helping, what kinds of problems do they come to us for? Again and again and again, different people come to us for what kinds of problems? Is there a pattern there? What kinds of problems and, and obstacles have we overcome in our life that we might be able to help people with? Things like that give us a sense of pattern and a common thread that we start to notice, go, oh, that's really what I can be helping people with next. So what I'm going to suggest to you is instead of asking giant questions like what's my calling and purpose, if, if that gets you stuck, sometimes it inspires you and that's great. But if you get stuck and not able to move forward and take action, here's what you try instead. Ask smaller questions. So instead of what's my calling in life, ask yourself, what's the next thing I'd like to try based on what I've noticed about my life thus far? What's the next thing I'd like to try? And if you're getting stuck with what's my niche, what's my target market? Try the smaller question. What's the next niche that I'd like to experiment with? Okay. And instead of asking, who is my ideal client? Who is my target market? Ask, whom have I been helping thus far? And, and how can I help more people like that? Smaller, more practical questions that are grounded in reality, grounded in experimentation and testing. Instead of this giant question that you feel, if I answer this question, what is my calling? Then am I going to be stuck if that's going to be my thing for the next 10 years, 20 years. The truth is we understand by looking backward, but yet we live life forward, right? So when you live life forward, what this means is that society will change dramatically as has happened to us this year in 2020. That nobody, nobody really planned for the pandemic and the lockdowns and dramatic business changes. Who planned for that? So imagine somebody who said, my calling is to start a restaurant back in February or January of this year. My calling, I discovered my purpose in life is to start a restaurant. And then the pandemic hit and now everything changed. So instead of asking such giant questions, let's do little experiments, asking pragmatic questions about our actual experiences and what we can test next to help us understand what is the reality that is present in our life? How are we relating to the world right now? And therefore, what can we experiment and grow more into? Because good business is always about responding to the market. This is how I've developed such an effective business. And I'll say from my own experience, and this might inspire you, I don't really have a core message. Yeah, you might say, wait a second, George, you are a marketing expert and coach. You don't have a core, me you don't have a clear marketing message? No, I don't. You can quote me on that. George Cow says he does not have a clear marketing message, and yet he has such a successful business. Why? Make sure that's the full quote, because then people will, will, will say, well, why is that? It's because, listen, listen, I am different things to different people. To some of my clients, I'm a Facebook ads expert. That's how they see me. Oh, George, yeah. Look, when I think of George, I think of Facebook ads. That's, that's what he's good at. Wonderful. Please pigeonhole me however you want to pigeonhole me. Some clients pigeonhole me as, oh, George, he's the course launch expert. If you want to launch courses, go to George. Great, wonderful. 
pigeonhole me that way. Good. Some clients say, oh, no, George, he, he is the joyful productivity coach. He, he is all about getting things done in a way that's connected to our spirituality. That's what he's really good at. Wonderful. Think of me as that. People think of me as different ways, and that's wonderful because I am all of those things. And it's impossible to organize that into a core message that makes sense to everybody. Do you get me? Same, same as you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to pressure yourself so much anymore trying to come up with this integrated message that and it makes sense to everybody. It will make sense to you. I have a core message that makes sense to me. It's not going to make sense to you. I don't have to tell you, oh, I am the integration of this and this. And th Who cares? What do you need? Let me tell you what, what I can help you with. Oh, oh, that's what you need? Oh, good. Oh, I can help you with that. Now, oh, that's what you need? Oh, I can't help you with that. Let me uh, re refer you to this other colleague. So, I don't mind being pigeonholed because once someone is working with me and, has, and I have their attention because I'm helping them, then they'll see, oh, wow, George also does this and also does that. That's how my clients do it. They come to me with one thing. I help them with that. Oh, wonderful, because they heard about me. They heard about that I'm good at that one thing. I come, great. I, I help them with that. And then they discover, oh, I can help them with this one and that one. And wonderful. So I hope this helps you to move forward with a more joyful and experimental attitude about your niche, about your work, about your purpose, knowing that you are all of it. And it's all about helping people. And it's about, all about expressing your, your love as you help others. So I hope this is helpful. I'm George Cow. I'm all things <laughs> to many people. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy others, other ones as well. This is the same thing with content. I make this one and then this one and then this one. People can enjoy this one or that one. It doesn't matter. It's all about experimentation with s singular things. I hope this helps. Take care.